this morning, I will just, you, you praise, it is a sweet spirit in this house. Let me go to the program. I'm going to ask us to follow the program. Those who are on the program, please follow the program, and then you come as you are on the program. So we'll be going forward with the birth of an icon. This will be done by Brandon and Michelle, grandchildren, and also followed by an iconic kind of love, which will be done by son Percival Plummer. Then her legacy, the sons and daughters. Amen. This will be done by Nadine Watson, and then tribute of triumph from her son and daughters, Glenn Hudson. Please follow in that order. Thank you very much. An icon, a person or a thing widely Widely admired, especially for having great influences or significance in a particular hemisphere. Icon. Hello, everyone. I'm going to read some words of comfort for the family. Can you? Today to all my relatives who have come near and far, those who travel in car, plane, or by foot, thank you for coming to celebrate the life of our beloved grandmother, Inez Plummer. We come together, many of us, still grieving the loss of our cherished mother, grandmother, and matriarch of the Plummer family, and also carrying the weight of the, the untimely loss of our cousin, precious mother, DeAndre Rahat, Rahana and baby Heru, our dear Sambo. May our two loved ones rest in peace. Our time, it can be too, it can be far too easy to get caught up trying to plan out our lives to the T. We try to make arrangements in order to be ready for things that we'll someday experience in life. But if there's one thing we can learn from the pandemic, it's that there is no plan that is above God's plan and God's Amen. timing. Amen. As I reflect on some of the moments we as a family got to share with Grandma, I think of the time in February 2020, a large part of our family made the trip from all over the world to right here in Rocky Point, Clarina, to celebrate Grandma's 89th years of life. This was God's plan. A year later, we, we were blessed with the opportunity to celebrate Grandma's milestone, 90th birthday in person, but mostly on the Zoom, as many of us could not travel. Thank God for his timing. Family, let us today be a day of rejoicing. Our Ines Plummer has lived a full life, and I know she is looking down at each one of us with a smile that can comfort even the most heavy heart. Let the love that we all share for Grandma extend to each of our loved ones. Truly giving thanks for life, appreciating every aspect of it, from being born to the moment we transition out of this life. I know my grandmother always loved singing songs of worship and praise, so I will end with a verse of, of a song that I believe was put in my heart by grandmother. My spirit magnified the Lord, my soul praised his name, for death could not hold him captive, even in the grave he is Lord. I rejoice with my grandma today. I pray God grants us all the strength to stay steadfast in our faith until the end of our name is called. I love you, Grandma. I will forever keep all the memories alive and close to my heart. God bless you all. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, come on. I'm only, I'm only here to read the scripture, Psalm uh, Proverbs 31. And I'm going to start from verse 10, and it says, Who can find a virtuous woman? That's my mama. <laughs> Now who can find a virtuous woman? For her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusted her, so he will have her no lack of gain. 
she does him good and not evil. All the days of her life, she seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. That's my mama. She was a dressmaker. And she's like the merchant ships as uh, she brings forth food from afar off. That's my mama, the shopkeeper. Uh, she also rises early while it is at night. That's my mama. And provides food for her household. And a portion of her for her maid servants. I'm like, Jai. She considers a field and buys it. She's an entrepreneur. For in profits, she plants a vineyard. Uh, she girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. Uh, she perceives, perceives that her merchandise is good. And her lamp does not go out by night. That's my mom. Uh, she stretches out her hands to the distaff. And her hands hold her spingle. That's her machine and her bicycle. Uh, she extends her hands to the poor. That's my mama. Yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. That's my mama. That's my mama. I said, that's my mama. Uh, she's not afraid of snow for her household. She travels to Canada, England, the U.S., all over the place. Uh, for her household, uh, is clothed with scarlet. That's why we're all wearing purple today. Uh, she is a royalty. That's my mama. Her husband is known in the gates. That's my papa. Yes. That's my papa. Yes. Yeah, well, she's known in the gates. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Uh, 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 when he sits among the elders yes. of the land, uh, she makes linen and garments and, uh, and, and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. Uh, she shall rejoice in time to come. Mama is rejoicing right now in glory. Uh, I think she deserves a hand clap of praise. She's looking down at us right now. Hey! And Mama says, carry on. Carry on. Carry on. She's looking down right now. She says, strength and honor is her clothing. She shall rejoice in her time. She opens her mouth with wisdom, as Michelle says, and her tongue is a law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her own soul. That's my mama. She was a protector. You don't mess with mama. And does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children, rise up, all my brothers and sisters. Stand up to your feet right now. All her children. Rise up! Yes. And God are blessed! Yes. Because we are blessed! Yes. We are blessed! Yes. Because God is blessed! Come on! Come on! Her yes. husband also! Yes. Praise yes. her. She said she want to go meet Papa. Yes. And they're together now looking on and they says, hold on. Yes. Children, hold your head up high. Get a little hold your head up high. Many daughters have done well. But my mama, yes. and his written man, she excels them all. <laughs> A charm is deceitful. Yes. Beauty, they said it's vain, but in this scripture it says pass it. But my mama, a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Yes. So give her the fruit of her hands. In the last verse, 31 says, Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own words praise her in the gates. So let us give God a praise. Give God the honor. He's the mighty God. The legacy, son, sons and daughters. This will be done by Nadine Watson. In tribute of triumph from her sons and daughters, Glenn Watson.
So I'm reading Proverbs 22, verse 6. And it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I have one more little poem that I wanted to say. Oh, sorry, here ends the reading of God told you. Um, Inez, which is my grandmother, Mama, all of the children took our name as the grandchildren, Mama. And you only hold this. Um, one thing to say, gone are the days we used to share but in our hearts, you'll always be there. The gate to our memories will never close. The key to our hearts, you'll always hold. If we had one wish, one wish that would come true, we'd pray to God with all our hearts for yesterday and the both of you. May you rest in peace. And God, take your soul and hold up the family and who's left behind. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm here really to not to so much talk about the children and anything like that. I'm here specifically to talk about Ines Plummer, my mother, yes. and the relationship that we had. Uh, a relationship that I'll cherish for the rest of my life because she accepted me years ago as a son and I'll never forget her for her love the way she brought me up because she was the one who brought me up everything I learned every good thing I learned every good thing Every good thing I learned was taught by my mother, Miss Ines. I didn't want to write anything down, but I, I just don't want to leave out some of the, to let you know some of the, 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 how great of a woman this was, and how loving and kind and cherishing she was. The words of, of Solomon say, you must train up a child in the way he should go, and when he gets old, he will not depart from it. Um, this was something that my mother, Miss Ines, taught all the children coming up. I mean, through life we departed, but then we all came back to where we're supposed to be. Not only did she taught us that, not only did she instill those values in us, but she lived the life for us to see. She did not just say, do this, or live this way, or be like that, but she actually lived the life that she wanted us to live. She taught us to show love and respect to others. Be kind, hardworking, and be willing at all times. Be willing at all times to render help or assistance in whatever way possible to whoever you can. This was my mother, Miss Ines. She was not only a mother to me, but she was a mother to all my children. All my children. I remember when my first child was one year old. I've never told him this. He's here now. And he's probably going to hear this for the first time. When he was one year old, he had serious health issues. And Miss Ines, my mother, encouraged me to take him from her mom, bring him to the house and she'll take care of him. That's the kind of mother she was. That's the kind of mother he was. She made sure he was taken to the doctor and he stayed there. She nursed him back to health. 
she made sure he stayed there until his health was back. He was strong again. He got his health back. I mean, from someone, he had issues, health issues. And this was the kind of woman Miss Ines, my mother was. She did not treat me any different. Actually, no. I might be wrong. Um, a lot of times, I, I really think I got partial, partiality treatment. She treated me, sometimes I was kind of, what's the word? I was, yeah, because she treated me, I'd say, better than her other kids. I, you know, because the things, for instance, I was the only one, listen to this, we live in a Christian household. She grew up as to, 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 to fear God, to love God, to honor God, and to know that he's the one. She's a, well, her scripture is, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead on that in your own understanding. In everything, not in some things, in everything she tells us, acknowledge God. Because everything we have cometh from him. Everything. I remember back to the, we live in a Christian house, Christian household, as you all know. And I was the only one to ever have a party in that house. I mean, think of it. As an 18 year old, I wanted to have a birthday party. So I asked and was really surprised when she gave me permission. That's the kind of love she had. But those permis that permission didn't come without strict warning. Some very stern Warning. I remember when I had to go to college in Kingston, she used to encourage me to come home every weekend. I mean, imagine me living in Kingston. I had, my, I had to study. I mean, I had work to do. And she encouraged me to come home every weekend. And using the, 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 the guile that um, Kingston is not safe. So it's safer for me to come home and spend the weekends in Rocky Point. But she just wanted, that's the love she had for me. She wanted to see me. When I started working at Monimus, I lived, I mean, I lived on the compound. She always leaves Sunday dinner for me, always, always. No matter what, I never miss coming down here for my Sunday dinner. And when I'm going back, fry fish goes with me. That's the kind of woman Miss Plummer is. Oh, and did I tell you that she didn't spear the rod and spoil us? Well, she didn't. I mean, we were strong. Dr. Jimmy and I were strong, strong, energetic teenagers. So she wouldn't grab us or our thing, but I mean, don't mess with her. Her shoe is coming. You better look up. If you walk away or if she has She's talking to you and you try to walk away or you want to walk away. Look over your shoulder. A show is coming or a broomstick is coming. But she did it in love. She loved us so much. She, she disciplined us, but she disciplined us with love. I mean, these are only a few of the memories that I will always have of my mother, Miss Ines. These memories will always be with me. A few years ago, let me, let me go back. A few years ago, or many years ago, when we have family gathering, I mean, the other kids were, say, eight or nine, and I was plus one. And then after a while, I realized I am not a plus. I'm a part of the initial family. I'm part, and I'll always be a part of the family. I'll always love you guys. We'll always love each other. We'll always be together, no matter what. That's the kind of spirit. That's the kind of woman. That's the kind of thing she instilled in us. Family, God first, family second. Worship God with all your heart, with all your might with everything you have, and family comes second. She always instilled that in me, in all of us. 
these are some of the memories I have. Some of them that will always, always stay with me. And in closing, I just want to say that my mother, Miss Inez, she fought a good fight. She has finished the course. But most importantly, through it all, she kept the faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She never, ever lost that faith in God. And that's the faith she instilled in us. And now she has gone home to be with the Savior. And believe me, her crown of righteousness is waiting for her. She will receive her crown of righteousness. I love you, Miss Inez. I love your mother. And you'll always have a part of my heart. Come on, put your hands together as we worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. We give God thanks for those tributes and listening it coming from the children and grandchildren. The Bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. And in this case, we are recognizing that Sister P, Brother P, they have left as inheritance for this family. Can I confess? Everybody in Rocky wants to be like the Plumber's family. Every one of us. And sometimes out of grudge, we criticize because we want to get there. But I'm telling you that Sister P have done a remarkable job. She have held the family together. 20 odd years after Brother P died, she still holds the family together. Yes. Amen. And we think that that is an iconic um, achievement. Can we put our hands together for this great woman? Amen. Amen. You know, as I listened to Gerald spoke a while ago, I can't but say that train up a child in the way that he should grow. And every time I listen to Gerald, I, I realize the importance of a godly influence yes. in the life of a person. Because Gerald, Gerald, Capri, a comfort tone, Gerald Beaufort, we are talking about. But one sister P, the seed that was sown, yes. Amen. We have seen it germinated and we have seen the result of training a child in the way that you school. So we hear what Sister P was going by. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction drives it away. Amen. Can you bless the Lord? Amen. At this time, we continue with the program. We're going to ask Keziah Webb, and it will be followed by the Grand Legacy. Trust in the Lord, um, Tom, Tom R. K. Phillips, Memories of Mama, Tributes from the Grandchildren, Karen, Karen Elliott, Omar Plummer, and Renisha Stevenson. Um, so we will take it in that order. Okay, the grandchildren will come? Okay, good. I'm here to share a scripture with you that all the children and grandchildren know. It's been repeated so much already today, and I don't think it can be repeated anymore. Less, or it can be multiplied times a trillion. It's still going to resound in our hearts. This is always going to be something that each and every one of us is going to remember, and that's Proverbs 3, verses 5 to seven. And I think that for the grandchildren, if you guys don't already have a poster in your house with the scripture, or you don't already have it stapled in your phone or saved in your phone, you need to make sure that you do that, especially for grandma's sake. So we're going to read this one together. So here we go. So Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 7 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not do not lean on your own understanding. 
in all thy ways acknowledge him and grandma would always stress that part in all thy ways that means it doesn't matter if you're going to the bathroom you need to make sure you acknowledge God for whatever it is that he's doing in your life and you do not lean on your own understanding be not wise in your own eyes fear the Lord and turn away from evil so for my cousins, for my aunties, for my great cousins, there's so many of us. I love each and every one of you. And I just want to make sure that we mark that scripture because it is so profound in every single thing that we do. And no matter how many times someone says it up here today, it's not going to be something that we're going to ever forget because that was Graham's, that was Graham's scripture for us. So I want to thank everybody for coming out today and for being here to support us. But, Grams, we love you so much. Good evening, everyone. I just want to do a little something, something, because Grandma, she never do a little thing without a son. And Grandma was with us, my sister, so I want to do a special tribute on behalf of me, my sister and my next two brothers, our next three brothers. Um, I want, she always have this song. She said, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Years go by 
before we know and understand the depth of her concern and the love in her protectiveness. But as we mature, we finally do understand and we can look back and see through older eyes and wiser hearts, her unconditional love, devotion, and family loyalty. It's these many and other things that make us realize how lucky we have been and how lucky we are to have this amazing woman, our grandmother, as the center root of strength and love in our life. I just want to say to my great grandma, I love you, and you gave me my best friend, my grandma. And the last time I was here, before my grandma got to come, you told me, when you're gone, take care of Maxine. Grandma, if there's nothing else that I do, I promise to take care of my grandma. Because I know how much she loved you. You are her best friend, and she's my best friend. And because of that, I'm always gonna guide and protect her. Nana, I love you. Grandma, we miss you and we'll see you again soon. God is good. My name is Karen. I am apparently the oldest grandchild of 80. I am the first grandchild for my grandmother, Inez Ritame Plummer, and Pops. So I have a, I have a, quite a legacy to carry on and to uphold. Family and faith are the two constants that stand out to me when I think of my grandmother. Yes. Family and faith, directly in that order. Faith and family, faith and family. I'm sure it's been said over and over when anyone speaks of her, because that's how she presented herself unwaveringly, unapologetically faithful servant. She didn't force it on you, she just lived it, and you were to follow the example. She was our prayer warrior, as Celia always calls her. She's our prayer warrior to the end. Family was her second love. When she spoke about her family, her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, her great-great-grandchildren, it was always with pride. She beamed with pride, the big smile that we're all used to seeing on her face. When she sees you walk through the room and come in for the first time, she had this big grin. And anybody who didn't know, she had to make sure that they knew this is my granddaughter, or that's my son, or that's my great, oh, I have lots. <laughs> it just reminded me of when she was in the, the hospital and she had her amputation and the nurse came in and she said, oh, this is my first granddaughter. And she said, you're gonna see lots of people here because my family is very big and everybody will be coming. <laughs> I personally enjoyed the laughs I had with her most of all because she was a funny, 
funny woman. Funny and smart, and that's a really good combination. From her calling me and asking me to buy her at, I don't know, 80 something to buy her Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> and me asking her four times, Victoria's Secrets? Yes, yes, okay. And her telling me when we tell her not to eat this and not to eat that, and she says, Hom, I don't understand all of a sudden people telling you what you can and can't eat. First, everybody said, Hom, don't eat pear. Pear are good. All of a sudden, it's good for your cholesterol. <laughs> My grandmother was a queen. I love her. I am grateful to have had her in my life for almost 54 years. I am grateful that she's lived to see so much love bestowed on her. I am proud to tell anyone that I am the first grandchild for Inez Rita Mae Plummer. And I hope that I can live my life in a way that will honor her and her legacy with the respect she deserves. Because I come from greatness. Mama was always very, very keen on letting you know anyone who showed her kindness in any way. So with that, I would personally, on behalf of all the grandchildren, say to you, if you have spoken kind words, if you have sat with my grandmother and chatted with her, if you have stopped by to pray with her or pray for her, if you have shown her respect in the smallest way, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you for showing my grandmother the respect she deserved. Mama, I will never see a beautiful flower, smell a sweet fragrance, and not think fondly of you. It's been a pleasure and an honor to call you Grandma. Rest in sweet, heavenly paradise, Queen. Thank you. Amen. Put your hands together for the grandchildren. Living overseas. At this time, we're going to welcome the grandchildren that are here in Jamaica. Tales from home. Jamaica she loves. Janelle, Jada, DeAndre. Amen. We're going to ask them to come. Canada, Auntie Blanche, Debbie, some of them came already, so. Amen. Amen. It's it's we, we we have told maybe do something here. Alright, so at this time we're gonna take tribute to a legend by Miss Knight. Are, are they, the kids are coming? Yes, okay, very good. There's a land beyond the river. We call the streets forever and we
one of the Lord's finest handcrafted angels, sleep on our field, we will forever love you. Okay, come on, put your hands together for the grandchildren. Bless the Lord. I remember Mama in a happy way. At this time, we will be having the eulogy, and this will be read by Jesse Elliott. Could you welcome at this time, Mr. Jesse Elliott, um, grandson of the deceased, as he comes to read the eulogy. All right, I'm going to invite Jesse and Kirk. Both of them can come. Kirk will do the one verse of scripture, um, tribute from the um, one verse of scripture, Joshua 1 verse 9, and it will be followed by the eulogy. Good afternoon. I'm obviously not Jesse or Kirk, that's those two. But um, at this time, I have the honor and the privilege of asking everyone, inside and out, we are going to honor our sister Tiny. to celebrate and to remember. Inez 
Rita May Campbell was born on February 28, 1931, in Rocky Point, Clarendon, to parents Adina Brown and Frederick Campbell. She was a sister to her siblings, Vincent, Justin, Austin, Michael, AKA Fire, Nolan, and Rachel Campbell. John Knight, Leopold, and George Plummer. Inez's grandma was more affectionately known as Mame, Mama, Gal Hines, and Miss P. Her formal education began at Miss Francis Infant School in South Palm from where she attended Portland Cottage Elementary School, where she made the transition from her formal education to dressmaking. That was a trade that led her to Lionel Town. Her hands crafted garments that made other women feel beautiful. The famed speaker, Les Brown, once said, life has no exceptions except the ones you make. Grandma was a woman in a man's world, but it never hindered her entrepreneurial spirit. She acquired properties, including rental properties, but her greatest acquisition was her famous shop in South Park. She sold local goods, knickknacks, to members of the community, and was also a social hub for the community at large for many years. She was a businesswoman with a heart of gold, often giving away goods to children who had nothing to eat before heading off to school and to families who couldn't make ends meet. Her shop not only provided for her family, but it was also a source of independence for her. Her entrepreneurial spirit follows through the veins of her children to this very day, and her grandchildren. They have started many businesses of their own, including clothing lines, restaurants, and property ownership. She was a pioneering woman of her time, with a tremendous work ethic, and she was very proud of it. I remember asking her once, Grandma, how was it back then? And she said, you know, I used to wake up 3 o'clock, down at the shop already, get everything sorted, and she said, not one of them young girls who used to can work like me. And I said, wow, she's from another generation where they valued work. It was a badge of honor, and she passed that on to all of us. Always known to be a kind and caring woman by friends and family, such as Lena Bent Heath, Violet Nangle, Madge Banton Parcher, Angelita Bent, Bugsy Francis, T. Francis, and Carson Scott. To those outside of her circle, she was known to be a strong, no nonsense woman but her beauty and her confidence caught the eye of a dashing young man from Portland College. Her confidence caught the eye of a dashing young man from Portland College. Hold on, you haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> Herman Hesse said, if you know what love is, it is because of you. Percival Sylvanus Adam Johnson Plummer was a dashing young man indeed, who managed to gain the attention and affection of our dear Highness. Their friendship blossomed into true love, and they were happily wedded before God and witnesses on September 26, 1953. 
They lived in matrimonial bliss for 41 years, turning their house to a home filled with children of their own and others within the community. Their love has survived in their children. Polly, my mom, Yvonne, a.k.a. Maxine, Everton, a.k.a. Carl, Glenn Roy, a.k.a. Ripper, Roy Dell, a.k.a. Doctor, Delroy, a.k.a. Jimmy, Elaine, a.k.a. Tiny, <laughs> Ida, Joan, a.k.a. Susan, Percival, a.k.a. Percy, and Cocky, <laughs> Diplo, we can go on for a while, but I believe there are some restrictions in place. And QB, Mervis, a.k.a. QB. They also survived by a bounty of grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. Their love did not die when Sir P passed away and went to be with the Lord in 1994. But they lived on in the memories and endless stares into the distances and small giggles into the wind. And if you spend time around Grandma and you ask her certain questions about the past, like anything to do with Sir P, she comes alive. Her eyes widen and she smiles. And I had the opportunity to ask her some questions when she had an extended stay in the hospital house. And we actually recorded them. And they're priceless. But I remember asking her, how did you meet Sir P? How did you meet? And she just perked up, eyes wide open, and a girlish eagle. And she said, he was a sportsman, you know. A bossy man. And I said, really? He said, yes. They used to ride down from Portland College and he used to come. And she said, you know, in those days, the men wore the brown khaki pants and the white shirt. And she said, but he, he had not one, but two kerchiefs. <laughs> See, that was his secret. One in his pocket and one tied around his neck. And she said, now, he would just ride two pedals and stop and then start to pedal. She was enamored and truly in love with her husband. And it's, it's a tremendous thing to see and witness and grow up with her. Many may not know that Grandma was a champion bicyclist. Who knew this? Let me see your hands. Anybody? Champion bicycle ride. She was unbeaten. There was a track down on the beach. They built a bicycle track and this was the entertainment pre-iPhone uh, and, and video games. It was the bicycle tracks. And so that's how Sir P came down with uh, uh, his, I guess, boys. And they met literally at a bicycle event. But she was a champion cyclist, never lost. She competed against people from Portland Cottage all the way to Longwood. And she was proud of her record. She said, we never lose, never lose yet. She won every race. It has been said that your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Grandma lived a life full in Jamaica and abroad. During her visits to the United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States of America, she enjoyed cruises, lavish vacations with her children to destinations within the European and African continents. When she was not globetrotting, she celebrated the milestones of her family members, from graduations to weddings and the birth of countless babies. And when she wasn't celebrating others, we enjoyed celebrating her. We have such fond memories of her. It's a contagious smile and that family reunion in 2000. We celebrated her 80th birthday. That was also a very special milestone. We all have fond memories with Grandma, but we will never ever forget.
The great Charlie Chaplin once said, a day without laughter is a day wasted. This is something that Grandma would agree with her hardly because she, as Karen said, loved to laugh and was extremely funny. Grandma was known to her household as a law and order grandma and mom. But she had quite a sense of humor. She enjoyed making us laugh by saying things to her children such as, if you know go and follow rules, then follow more <coughs> by you. Or when we'd ask Mama, which basketball team is playing? She would say, the Rapture, <laughs> as opposed to the Raptors. If you ask Grandma, rap brand name you wearing, Grandma, she would say, Versace, <laughs> or Pucci, or Blueberry. I truly believe that her larger than life personality is the reason why we can smile today, even on a difficult day. A strong woman is one who is able to smile this morning like she wasn't crying last night. Grandma had some significant changes to her health and the condition later on in life that she kept her head high and pushed through the loss of her limb and eventually the loss of her sight, but she never lost her vision. One thing she never lost sight of was her faith in Almighty God and her unwavering belief in the Holy Bible. She was a prayer warrior, as you've heard, and a worshiping woman who lived her life in the image of Christ. She will be loved and missed. We remember those dawn prayer breakfasts, meetings, and hearing Grandma say to all of us her favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct the path. If you remember nothing else, that's what Grandma would want you to remember. It was Abraham Lincoln who said, In the end, it is not the years in your life that count. It is the life in your years. Inez Rita May Plummer left this earth on July 21st, 2021. But the footprint she left on those in this world won't be forgotten. She lived a life filled with love, adventure, laughter, and one that she faced with bravery, courage, strength, conviction, and faith. Inez Rita May Plummer, you came, you saw, and you conquered. You will always be an icon. You will always be a legend. You will always be a pioneer. You will always be a pillar of strength to your community. Your friends and your family. The Apostle Paul wrote in, wrote in 2 Timothy 4, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Grandma, just like you won every bicycle race on the plains of Sao Paulo, you had the cycling crown here on earth, but now you have won the race of life. And now you wear the most precious crown of all. The crown of salvation that is presented by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now we know that your crown is decked out in royal purple gems. We all know how much Grandma loved accessorizing her outfits with her hats. Grandma, let me take this opportunity to compliment you before we meet again in glory. You wear it well, Grandma. You wear that crown well. Now rest in peace, Mama, Grandma, and enjoy the fruits of your life service to the King of Kings. Amen. Yeah.